Hi, this is Gordon with Maximum PC. If you're excited about Haswell E, you're gonna need a new motherboard. And fortunately, I have on hand for the world's first unboxing, which is a lie because everybody who says they've done an unboxing, they've actually opened it up before because they couldn't wait, of ASUS's brand new X99 Deluxe motherboard. Bam! This, of course, is the X99 platform for Intel's brand new eight core Haswell E processor. And we are gonna walk you through a board that ASUS has really loaded up. Look at that beautiful material. I believe they use cardboard. Um, I've done a Rockwell test of the cardboard and it's really hard cardboard. I am of course lying. But this is the X99 Deluxe. So with the X99 Deluxe, ASUS actually used a different color scheme. I don't know why I'm telling you this because with your eyes you can see there's white and there's black. So what else do I need to tell you? Of course, this takes the Haswell E processor, which I have right here. Bam, eight core, 59X, $1,000. Fastest consumer processor I've seen in a long time. There's a lot of really cool things on this motherboard. Uh, obviously, you are getting the 10 SATA 6 speed ports that Intel is integrated into X99. Asus has also added two SATA Express ports. And very interestingly, in the box, I'm gonna show you. This very interesting bracket. You take your M2 card, M.2 card, which normally on most motherboards is mounted on the PCB like this. So to take up less space, they actually mount it in a vertical slot socket. So you put your M.2 in there, you add your little slot, how am I gonna do this? You mount the card to it, and now instead of eating up a lot of PCB space, it's sitting vertical. But of course, ASUS says, well, we know people don't like doing that because it looks weird. It looks like this appendage sticking out of your motherboard. They've also included the Hyper M.2 X4 card. You put your M.2 card here, you put it into any of the PCIe 3, Gen 3 slots, and you have full speed M.2 on a Gen 3 by four slot. With Z97, most M.2 cards actually were connected to the South Bridge. They use a Gen 2 connection at by two. This is Gen 3 and by four. Basically, uh, on a Z97, your typical Z97 boards, not all of them, you might get 800 megs a second. This should let you get about 1.1 gigs a second if your M.2 card can really handle it. And yes, this does actually work on a Z97 board or basically anywhere where you have a by four Gen 3 slot. And you can actually run both. You can actually mount an M.2 here on the board, put one in your card, drop it in here and use it as well. Interestingly, I asked ASUS why they bothered to put in SAT Express because they had so much M.2. They said that they sort of see the future for SAT Express going to higher speed, hybrid bulk devices, not necessarily all solid state or uh, NVMe devices. There's also something that uh, ASUS has done on this board that's a little different. I'm gonna open up the socket, let you look inside. The company says they've actually found a secret way of adding pins to this normal LGA 2011 V3 socket to let you overclock it, overclock this, the processor a little more. If you're expecting to get 4.8 gigahertz out of a Haswell E part, you're gonna be disappointed. They say you should still expect to get 4.5 with good cooling and a good power supply. But what they've done with this socket is add additional pins so you can overclock the Uncore as well as the DDR4. Unfortunately, this board is not powered up, but ASUS has put a new feature onto this board. It really confused me. If you can see this dip switch here, we'll do a close up on this, but it says SLI Crossfire and there's a 1X, 2X, 3X. And it basically lets you select this. I was confused. I thought, does this somehow reconfigure your PCI lanes on the fly if you're running multiple cards? And ASUS says, no, actually, they've gotten a lot of support calls from people who don't know which slots to put their video cards in. So on this board, they've cleverly added LEDs. So when the board is powered up, you can actually set the switch and it will line up LEDs on the board to let you know where to put your graphics cards if you're running uh, two cards, three cards, whatever. Nice little feature, I guess, to save on support calls for them. 
One other plus ASUS is they've added on this motherboard, which is the first they claim, is integrated Wi-Fi with, where's the antenna? A full three by three, 802.11ac that's capable of hitting 1.3 gigs a second. Get this nifty little antenna, plug this in. It's beam forming, again, a three by three antenna, and can transfer 1300 megabytes per second in Wi Fi. And also in the box, a little fan header. Because you don't have enough fans in your case, you just simply take this, plug it in and you get your extra fans powered off with their own power. And I believe you can actually control this as well from the OS within the ASUS utility. Since no motherboard unboxing is complete without going through every single thing in the box, looks like there's a Mylar bag in here, SATA cables, more SATA cables, a uh, cable that goes with, goes with your fan header, more SATA cables, Temperature probe, mounts for the M.2 vertical thing, SLI bridge, manuals, headers, sticker, so you can put this on your car like I do over my Apple stickers, and of course, more instructions. And then of course, in the box, we also get screws, an IO shield, and more SATA cables. Isn't that exciting? So that was the unboxing of the ASUS X99 Deluxe board. Looks like a great home for a brand new Hazel E processor. I'm gonna have more motherboards. We'll do more unboxing. We'll look at more cool stuff. We'll look at more empty boxes made of cardboard. This is Gordon Ung, talk to you later.